now if you're UCLA, you must set up your press. You must trap and steal and then foul. Now remember, Jones has four. So he's the only UCLA player on the floor right now with four fouls. It would be advisable to try to keep him in the game and not foul. Now you have to shoot the three. Honey cut for the tie. Got it. Wow. <laughs> At the buzzer. And did they get a foul? They got a foul. At the buzzer. They're, they're going to go to the monitor. To determine whether the foul took place after the horn went off. And remember, it's not the horn, but it's the clock, the light, and then the horn. If this foul occurs after there's triple zeros, we'll go to overtime. Scott Thornley on the left, Doug Sermon's on the right, and now Tommy O'Neill on the far left. Let's take a look. Here it comes. The ball is stripped, now it's loose. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I think it's before the triple zeros, John. Now let's take a look if there was a foul, because the first thing you gotta see is whether it beat the clock. You know, John, it's a foul. I mean, you hate to say it, you hate to have a game in like this, but in my mind, it's a foul, and a foul is a foul in the first minute or the last few seconds. Good officiating. Tyler Honeycutt at the other end. What a huge three, what a great night. Now he rose up from NBA range. They didn't want to foul him. And boy, has he been terrific. And here, here's the play, John. The foul occurs before the clock hits triple zeros. And then the reach in. It'll be Mario Little at the line. The senior out of Chicago who is seven for ten from the stripe including tonight. Where he's two for two. Well, he's not going to have the pressure of a one and one. He'll shoot two. But if you're Kansas now. Particularly on the second free throw you do not want to foul. If I were Bill Self, I would take my players off the line right now. I would not leave Morris and Morningstar on the line. Do you miss on purpose? That's funny. We had this conversation today in the office because of a play that happened last night in the Virginia Tech game when uh, Virginia Tech could have gone up four if the guy only makes the free throw. But yes. UCLA has no timeouts. You have to miss, but you have to make sure that you hit the rim when you miss. Again, down three and Honeycutt from deep to tie. Well, One more look. Yep, this is tough, but it certainly looks like there was a foul. At least. His team has played their hearts out tonight. Now, here's the strategy, John. It behooves you to miss the free throw because if you go up to, can UCLA can throw it length of the floor, okay? So if you miss it, it's gonna be very little time to catch it and throw it the length of the floor. But Mario Little must hit the rim on the miss. They're about to check Jeff Withy into the game. I'm assuming that might mean that they're going to make it. 
to have him go on the ball. I wouldn't make this because it's going to have to be a three point shot. So one being up one or two doesn't matter. There's the miss. And the streak lives on here at Fog Allen Fieldhouse. 64 in a row in the most unlikely way. Bill Self's team escapes with a win over UCLA by a point. Bill Self told us today that sometimes early in the season when you have a really good team, adversity makes you better. It did today, but credit UCLA because that team played 40 minutes of solid basketball. Well, again, our final number four, Kansas wins it. 77-76, 64 straight wins at home for the Jayhawks. Up next here on ESPN2, it's SportsCenter. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Fran Frischel and our entire ESPN crew, I'm John Chomby. So long from Lawrence, Kansas.